Dear friends, on this fifth Sunday of Lent, Ezekiel's prophecy offers consolation and hope to God's people who experience suffering and hopelessness during the Babylonian exile. He announces three promises to them. God will open their graves and raise them up. God will recreate them by giving them his spirit, his breath of life. God will bring them back, fully alive, to dwell in their own land. Then he reminds God's people that God is faithful and trustworthy, and he fulfills his promises. At the same time, Ezekiel tells the people that when these promises are fulfilled, they will come to know and believe in God. Today, as in times past, Ezekiel's prophecy offers us words of consolation and hope. As the news keeps pushing brokenness, illness, and death into our ears, eyes, mouth, thoughts, emotions, and feelings, God, who is faithful and trustworthy, keeps promising healing, wholeness, and life to us. Like the people during the Babylonian exile, we are called to trust and hope in the Lord. We are called to believe that God fulfills his promises. He will raise us up from this coronavirus pandemic. He will give us his spirit, breath of life, and create us anew. He will take us back fully alive to dwell in the land of the living. Now, in John's gospel, before raising Lazarus from death and calling him out of the tomb, Jesus asked Martha, a thought-provoking and faith-inspiring question. Do you believe this? It is the same question that Jesus offers us. It is the same question he wants you and me to pray about. It is the same question he wants us all meditate upon during this time. Do you believe this? Do you believe that God will raise us up from the COVID-19 pandemic? Do you believe that God will pour out upon us his life-giving spirit to recreate us? Do you believe that God will bring us back, renewed and fully alive, to live in the land of the living? I hope and pray that, like Martha and Bethany, we, here and now, during these challenging times, are ready to respond to Jesus Yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God. Yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Comforter, the Healer, the Redeemer, the Source of true life. Yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you draw near to us, that you care for us, that you are not indifferent to our distress and suffering. Yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you will raise us up from all what is a sign of death, pain, illness, and anguish in our lives. Yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you bring us to a new life as individuals, as families, as communities. Yes, Lord, we believe, we trust, and we hope in you now and forever. May God bless you and bless your loved ones, now and during the week to come. May our Blessed Mother make her tender and loving presence known to all of us during the days to come.